In 1960, average price of gas was 30 cents per gallon. As of 2013, average price of gas was $3.50 per gallon. So how do we compare 1960 gas prices with 2013 prices? One idea is to convert 1960 prices into 2013 dollars. This process of converting previous year's prices into current dollars is called converting nominal values into real values. Real values are very helpful in comparing something over time. And in order to make this conversion, all you have to find is the 1960 gas price in 2013 dollars. One strategy is this, just bump up or increase the 1960 gas price by exactly the same amount by which average or prices increase between 1960 and 2030. For that purpose, we need to find average prices in 1960 and the average price in 2013. And we are talking about only US prices here. So here's the general rule. And average prices are given by CPI and data on CPI is collected by BLS. So CPI 2013 divided by CPI 1960 should be equal to price in 2013 dollars divided by price in 1960. Now the left this this is so proportionate increase in price between 1960 and 2013. We also know this number. This is 30 cents. So, and this is our unknown. We need to find this number. All we have to do, do a simple cross multiplication. Keep this price in $213 on your right, left side and take everything on your right. So, price in $213 is equal to that 30 cents. So the price of gas in 1960 dollars times CPI in 1960 which was 233 sorry CPI in 2013 and CPI of 1960 was 29.6 so this is price of gas in 1960 this is CPI 2013 and this is CPI 1960. So once you do the calculation it comes out to be dollar 2.36 which means a 30 cents per gallon gas in 1960 if it would have kept up with the average increase in price would Cost, would have costed us $2.36 per gallon. But as of 2013, average price of gas was $3.50 per gallon, which means that gas literally costs much higher today than in 1960. So by converting 1960 prices in today's dollars, we are able to find out if we, we are paying more for something or less for something compared to some previous year. We can do a similar exercise for other things also. For example, we can convert say 1960, 1970 or 1980 wages in today's dollar by exactly following the same procedure. The general formula is CPI today divided by CPI in year T should be equal to price 
in today's dollar divided by price in year t dollar which implies price in today's dollar should be equal to price in year t dollar times cpi today divided by cpi in year t so we can you can use the general formula to convert pretty much anything in today's term so this conversion process once again is called converting nominal values into real values